Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Wendy back with us here this morning, and this will be her second treatment, and we're going to do something brand new for our YouTube channel. We're going to actually video every single treatment that she receives this week. She came all the way down here from Chicago, Illinois, to receive treatment for her hyalur hernia symptoms, and of course, you know from seeing our previous videos, I don't really treat acid reflux or hiatal hernia, the disease. We treat what causes the person to have those conditions in the first place. So what we're treating is structural and biomechanical as well as muscular ligaments to help realign her thoracic spine with her rib cage and allow the diaphragm or the dome that separates the lower cavity from the upper cavity to hold the stomach down here where it's supposed to rather than letting the stomach slide up through the esoph or through the hiatus into the esophagus and secrete acid which is what acid reflux is in hiatal hernia. They call it sliding hiatal hernia most of the time. And you had your first treatment yesterday. Tell everybody how you did after your very first adjustment. It was crazy. It was really good. <laughs> I was actually able to go and eat a normal breakfast which I haven't done in a very long time. Um, I just, I felt good. I was able to sleep on my back a bit and I didn't have to take any medicine. So, I mean, that was after and that's one session. Right. Yeah, that's after the very first that's treatment. the very yeah. first, yeah. So, uh, this is our second treatment. So, let's get going. Okay, let's take a look at your posture first here, Wendy. And this is Wendy from the Wendy City. I had to do that. Okay, let's get going forward and backwards. We like to have fun in here with people, so. We have people flying in here from all over the world actually to get this treatment done because I actually suffered from hiatal hernia myself and that's how I got to know so much about it and how to treat it so effectively. And again, when I say treating it, I'm not talking about the actual hiatal hernia but what causes it in the first place. So we're evaluating her posture three-dimensionally on the X, Y, and Z axes. And, and most people get a little bit freaked out when they first come here because I tell them I want them to eat anything and everything, including steaks, Mexican food, even give them restaurants to go eat at. Okay, let's lay you on your back and decompress you first today. And also to sleep on their backs with no pillow under their head because most people have been told by the quote-unquote traditional medical establishment to prop themselves up and sleep at an angle when in actuality that crunches the rib cage together and causes the hiatal hernia symptoms and acid reflux symptoms to actually become worse. Uh, I, I don't know, I think they do that so they can do the surgeries because the, you know, the first thing they do is give you pills and potions. The next thing they want to do is surgery. So what we do is get rid of why they have it in the first place and that way they don't have to take the medication. We never advise patients to not take their medicine. Okay, breathe through your nose and just let it go. Oh yeah. Whoa. Should have felt that all the way down. <laughs> good. Yeah, she got a good pull there. She got her very first one yesterday and that was on our I put that on our YouTube channel last night. Perfect. This is a cervical Palmer diversified rotary break. Very nice. Okay. So what I've done so far is I've decompressed her whole spine on the y-axis. I've adjusted her cervical spine rotationally on the y-axis, but also on the x, y, and z axis. So now we're going to have her come over here and lie on her tummy. And I'm going to adjust the z-axis and the x-axis here, as well as some of the y-axis on her pelvis. Her legs are exactly even today. It was short yesterday by half an inch, but and that doesn't hurt as bad today either, does it? Stays even, so she has a negative knockless and a negative deer field today. But we are going to continue to adjust her left SI joint here, and then her right one here. I'm adjusting this from, it's got internal rotation so I'm pushing it externally to correct that. And then the sacrum on the right, right there. The sacrum right in the center here. And then the left part of the sacrum right here, which she did have a left sacral deviation positive test yesterday as well. So you hit that one again. And now I'm on L5. Drop that straight down in the Z-axis. 
L4, L, oops, L3, L2, and now we're going to get into the thoracolumbar spine and just exhale, yep. Okay. All right, now I'm going to put your head down just a little bit here, Wendy, to open these joints up a little bit. There it is. Same here. Okay. Now she's really tight in her thoracic spine and thoracolumbar spine, so we're having to work on the muscles and ligaments through here. There it is. Did you feel that one? That was really deep. Okay, so now I'm working on the paraspinal muscles right in the thoracolumbar, and you can see she gave kind of flinched on that one because they're really sore. These actually reflex into the organs from these muscles, like right here, for instance. You probably feel that deep, deep in your gut even, huh? You get somatovisceral reflexes and viscerosomatic reflexes that are done through the nervous system supply to the organ and then the related muscles. So when you're working on the muscles, the somato portion of the somatovisceral reflex, it actually affects the organ positively. And then when I pull her tummy down through her stomach, that affects the viscerosomatic reflex. So when you're doing both of those, you get a positive outcome. Okay, so today, Wow, I got a wild, wild vibrator there. Take it off on its own. So now uh, we're going to use the turbonator on her today. So take some deep breaths on this one, Wendy. <laughs> Tooled black and decker saw that I had a patient make for me, and it is a real deep myofascial release instrument. So you get down deep into the muscles and trigger points and help break up those fibrotic adhesions and release the metabolic waste products of normal cellular metabolism that builds up into those, creating the trigger points. Actually, Wendy handled that better yeah, than most of our men. <laughs> You did. That was intense, though, wasn't it? Yeah, first time turbinator is usually pretty exciting. I get it done on me, as you see in videos where I'm getting adjusted all the way down in my legs and my calves, which are really painful. But I can actually feel my feet better because I have peripheral neuropathy in both of my feet. So, whenever I get my calves and my legs worked on with the turbinator, it increases the circulation into my feet. It helps reduce the pain and burning that I feel on my feet all day long. With this time, you notice I'm doing some kind of transverse friction across your paraspinal muscles. Once the fibers run up and down parallel with the spine, except for up here in the rhomboids back and forth so it needs we go up and down. That's transverse friction. Very good. So even though she was even and it didn't really hurt her bringing her legs up, I bet you this still feels easier than the last one. Yep. Yep. Good job. So now we're just gonna do a little bit of lateral stretching here. Just make sure her lower thoracics and rib cages are maximally stretch through the muscular ligamentous component. Muscles hold and move bones and then ligaments hold bone to bone. They're tougher. When you have a sprain, that's a ligament. When you have a strain, that's a muscle. 
but the muscles and ligaments work together to either hold your structure or biomechanics in place or out of place, whichever the case may be. Okay, so let's turn you on your back now. So I'm going to bring her head up even. And we're going to check the alignment of her rib cage again today. And it's looking really even today. Look at that. My thumbs are exactly the same spot. Yeah. Yep. So take a real deep breath in. Yeah. And I'm going to sink down in here. Go right below the xiphoid process. And you sink down in slowly. You grab the fundus right here. And then pull down deep. There we go. And do not try this unless you are a professional healthcare provider. Deep breath in. Let all your out. I encourage other chiropractors to learn this technique because it will help you to help a lot of other people with this problem. And 50% of Americans have this problem. That's a lot. And we see a lot of people from all over the place with this problem because we're really, quite frankly, one of the few chiropractors in the world that actually know how to take care of this. So if you're interested in learning how to take care of this, uh, get a hold of us at your Houston chiropractor at gmail.com that's my personal and business email or you can go to our website advancedhoustonchiropractor.com and contact us through our website as well or if you'd like to make an appointment when you're out of town it's best to do that uh, through our website and then Renee will give you a call back and get everything scheduled like her and you and Wendy work together for how long a couple weeks to get this set up because we need a little advanced time to for people to get lower fares on their airfare set up the hotel we have a hotel right across the street from us plus we have several probably 15 to 20 hotels right around this area in North Houston We've got the Marriott the Hilton Hyatt and a bunch of the smaller ones uh, I don't know, comfort inns and other places around here that are very accommodating <clears throat> and very nice. We're only 15 minutes from George Bush Intercontinental Airport, which is IAH. And it's right in North Houston. And like I said, it's about 10 to 15 minutes right from here. So now I'm adjusting her knee all the way up into your hip. So that was good. Let's sit chip and face towards her knee here. Good. There we go. We're just going to check her shoulders here. Those are moving good today, smooth. There we go, good. That's it. And we do tell our people that come in from out of town to go eat anything and everything they want this week because we want to test this out and make sure that we're getting our maximum level of function while their patients are still here. We do actually encourage people to bring their spouses or another friend or something so that I can show them how to pull the stomach down themselves because you do need to continue this after you leave because there will be certain things that you do, sleeping wrong, sitting wrong, standing wrong, just throughout your daily activities that will sometimes cause your spine to go out of place and tweak the ribs again which will weaken the diaphragm and allow the stomach to slip up through there again so eventually you'll need to follow up with this with someone back home but that's why we got these videos so you can show your friends <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to tell our youtube subscribers and watchers okay. has this been worth the trip oh, for you <laughs> yes I, I mean even after just two sessions it's definitely been worth the trip Right. Praise the Lord on I'll that. Come back next year and do it again. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us. And we're going to be following her all week, so stay tuned. Come over here and shoot you. We still got to shoot her. Can't get out of here without me pulling your leg and shooting you. Okay. Let's have you flex your head forward and then backwards again. That's already better range of motion. Look at your posture right now. That's perfect. Man, that's a huge improvement from yesterday already. We're just going to bring your head straight back and straight up and shift your pelvis straight to the right. Yep. Hold that right there. There's a little tap on the atlas there. Atlas right there. Now you can relax. 
Now what this does is it sends neurological information into the cerebellum or the hindbrain, which controls balance, posture, coordination, and all kinesthetic movements. So we're going to try that again, Wendy, and tell me if this feels any smoother to you. She's so got full range of motion. Look at her posture right now. Perfect. Her hands are at her sides where they're supposed to be. Her ribs are lined up. Her shoulders are square. Her head's right down the center. So this is visit number two with Wendy from Chicago, and this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We'll see you next time.